Hey guys, it's Bob Trebuan doing a little video on the custom hopper I made just in like five minutes. It's electric, made out of a gravity feed one. Um, yeah, I don't have black tape, so I just use scotch tape. But what you pretty much got to do is right in here, right under here, you need to drill a hole going this way and then you need to put that on it two orange or uh, four orange clamps things from a connects all the overall and then put two on each side and then at the bottom of it two of the o-rings that look like this these little things sorry not o-rings but these little things and a red stick that will be the main um, kind of axle drive thing to it. Then you'll need a Connects motor. My Connects motor isn't as fast as some of these people's out there, but it's faster than a normal gravity fit. You don't have to shake all the time. It'll pump them out for you. Not as fast as any, or as fast as some people's would, but yeah. I mainly play woods ball, not speed ball, so don't need to worry about that. So, you'll flip the switch. And that's what it does. It skips sometimes. And then it'll spin. So you get the point. And then later on I was going to make a custom speed feed as well. So let me grab some paintballs. I don't have a pod right now. So I do it this way. We'll just scoop them up and put them in. I don't want to put that many in. And they're shooting at my leg. Yeah, you gotta kinda hold the bottom like that, so. We'll kinda hold it upside down, I guess. I don't have a camera person with me right now, so. It's more difficult. Alright, that's enough. Okay, so we're gonna have it start shooting some paint out back into the bag. So first we're just gonna put it in and it's already gonna start pouring some out because it's gravity fed. And now you'd have to shake it and it said And it pumps them all out. Oh, two more in there. Okay. So that was probably about a hundred paintballs total. Um, a bunch came out at the beginning because you know I never know how many is going to come out with this gravity hopper, but. A gravity hopper you usually have to shake when no more will come out, but instead if you have that connects motor just running then it'll push them all out for you, keep a consistent paste. Um, yeah, it's probably just as good as a view, uh, actual view loader electric one. Um, it could be cheaper, it depends. Um, if you have a Connects motor laying around and some little parts, then 
like I did then yeah but if not it's probably cheaper to just buy the view loader electric one because it's only 14 bucks and it connects motors like just as much as that plus you'd have to get a hopper so if you got these parts lying around then go for it what you'll need is a drill and let me see what size I used um, a 732 bit, <clears throat> a drill bit, um, yeah, and then, only problem I had with it is when you do drill it, you need to drill it in at a slant, if you just drill in, like I did at the beginning, I couldn't get this to get, go through, so what I had to do is carve it that way in, and then it went in. Yeah, I'm probably going to carve it out a little bit more because you want a little bit of room for that thing to spin. That's probably why this thing jumps a lot. You hear it snap or something, bam. Probably because there's not enough room for it to spin. And yeah, so. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm probably going to be doing more videos on this paintball gun or paintball related stuff but yeah I'll try and get more minecraft up I haven't had time for it because uploading takes a while so I've got a few more about like three videos that are pending for uploads because they just take so damn long and I haven't been able to transfer them to my iPod and it's hard for me to get a computer for a few hours to upload stuff, so, yeah. Later.